back in the shop today. We've got a few parts to install and review for uh, the Slash, Traxxas Slash four-wheel drive here. I was having problems with my motor overheating and needed some new gearing. So I went online and searched on eBay and found a nice set here. It was a decent price. I think it was $14, maybe $15 shipped. Um, it was obviously from China. It's uh, a spur gear, metal spur gear, and three metal, obviously, uh, pinions. Uh, 15 tooth, 17 tooth, and a 19 tooth. Uh, they're all 32 pitch, obviously, so is this. The spur is a 54 tooth. Here's the package it came from. Let's see if we can get on that a bit. So, tracks a slash, 54 tooth spur 19 tooth 17 and a 15 tooth so it's a combo pack and like i said it was about 15 dollars shipped i think the shipping was free parts were you know 15 dollars or 14 bucks or something like that uh, they come with the little inserts here you can see this little insert here i'll try and get better on it they come with these little inserts here and that's for if you have a regular shaft uh shaft size motor uh which is a 3.1 eight i believe millimeter and uh the shaft for this motor here is a five mil motor shaft so that's i'll be using the bigger holes i don't need the uh little sleeves here they're just extra bonuses i can throw in the, the toolbox it also comes with a allen wrench if you don't have the appropriate allen wrench i think it's a two mil for that one um yeah so we're going to get started on this. Uh, first of all, I got to take the motor and uh, the gearing out of the truck. So I'm going to pop that all apart and I'll show you what it's like when it gets uh, apart here. All right, I've got the uh, motor popped up out of the way there. I've got the back end of the slash taken off here. Here's the spur gear. Let's pop that out. Spur gear and slipper clutch unit. Uh, right now I have, uh, there's no slipper clutch pads in there. You can see in there, they're just metal pads. I took the slipper clutch pads out and put metal pads in there. And this slipper clutch is locked right down. No slipper. You can see that spring is right tight. Um, I've replaced this, uh, usually there, that copper piece uh, or brass or whatever it is. Um, it's usually a piece of plastic bushing there. And I've got a... A metal one in there which it's better because it doesn't heat up when that go a bearing rides on that so when the bearing gets hot and seizes up the plastic would just seize up and this distributes the temperature from the bearing a lot better and it's just a better system in my opinion so basically on here i'm running a 40 tooth mod one i believe it's a revo um spur off of a revo don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it's off. And the pinion I was using, I can't remember what size it was offhand. It's not written on it, so I can't tell you. But it was still overheating uh, on this setup, and I thought it would be a bit better, but it was still overheating. I probably need to get a better speed control for this truck. I run it pretty hard around the track out there. But I'm going to go with this uh, setup for now. I'm going to run the 15 tooth uh, pinion, and that's the 54 tooth uh, spur, metal spur. So I'm going to put this together, and I'll show you what it's like uh, with this new spur on the on the slipper clutch shaft here. I'll show you what it's like before I put it all together. Okay, I've got the uh, new gear here on the the new spur gear on the shaft. It's all assembled. Here's the old plastic one. I'll put it on there. You can see the difference in size. Let's get that up here. So it's not, I don't know if you can see that well, but it's not a big difference, but it's definitely uh, the new metal gear is bigger, which will give me a lower gear ratio. So we'll get rid of that old plastic one, put it to the side. Uh, before I install this, I'll put a little bit of uh, lubricant on the shaft there. Make sure it's uh, going to be nice and slippery when it goes into there. So you're not getting any friction or anything. It's always good to have lubricant on all these metal on metal parts for uh, that added protection and uh, keep that friction down and resistance because uh, we all know that creates heat. So one more thing I was going to mention and what was it? Um, oh, make sure you always put Loctite 
a good thread lock. Here's what I'm using. It's a paste Permatex medium strength and it's like a it's a sorry it's a gel twist cap. That's what this thing is called. I found it really handy. You don't make a mess. You can twist the bottom it comes out and you can twist the cap back and it'll actually draw it back down the tube so you're not wasting any. But make sure you always put the metal or uh, Loctite on your metal on metal threads, uh, metal, steel on aluminum, whatever, right? It's always got to have it or they'll vibrate loose. And uh, so that's about it. I'm going to put that back together and I'll uh, get this pinion changed and I'll show you what that new one looks like there. So I've taken the motor or the pinion off the motor and I took the motor mounting plate off. That's this blue one here. I had this one um, just laying around my shop. So I think I'm going to switch over to it. It's uh, it's a bit different. It's got obviously three, three holes up here in the top here. This black one where it doesn't have them here. Oops, sorry. This is how it sits here, just like this. That's how it would be. So it's got these extra mounts. I'm not sure what those are for. Doesn't really matter though. Uh, I won't be using those mounts, but I will. I do like this that it's cut out for a bit of lightweightness. You know, a little bit lighter. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully the uh, the plate doesn't bend because it is a bit lightweight. Uh, I'm not sure what model it's from or who makes it. It could be an HR hot uh, hot racing piece. It looks kind of like a hot racing piece. I'm going to put that in there though. Switch it out while I'm here. And um, I'll tell you guys how it, how it works out after I bash this. And I know if it's going to bend or not after a good day of bashing. But I'm going to get this pin pinion uh, switched. I wanted to show you the pinions here. This is the pinion I had in it, which was a mod one. This is a pinion that's going in it, which is a 32 pitch. Uh, you can see the difference in size there. And this one is a 15 and this one is a 15. But that's the difference in size between a mod one 15 and a 32 pitch. So mod one here again, 32 pitch here. So. Just a bit difference in size, um, losing a bit of weight, you know, cutting down some weight on the pinions, but on the spur gear, I'm definitely adding weight with this big new uh, metal gear over the uh, plastic one here. So I don't think I'll be changing much of the weight on the vehicle. Uh, and I'm shaving off a little bit of weight here possibly, but I think overall I'm upping the weight on the vehicle slightly. So hopefully the lower gear ratio works out and I'm not overheating. Or I think it's going to be time to step up to a new ESC, which I'll probably go with a Hobby Wing um, Max 8. Or sorry, uh, well, I'm not sure. Max 10, Max 8 for a four-wheel drive short course truck. Let me know in the comments what you guys would do if it was your uh, slash four-wheel drive. All you guys that have lots of experience, if you're watching this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. So we're going to get on with it here. Well, I was just going to go and slap all this uh, kind of back together. And I forgot that last time I used the slash, uh, the gear that sits on the end of this had come loose, I thought. So uh, I figured, well, it was just stuck down in the end, uh, end of the chassis here, right there in the center screen where that bearing is. So I looked in there. Yeah, sure enough, it was there. Unfortunately, it was there and down the center of there, there should be nothing in there. Unfortunately, that's the broken clutch uh, spur gear shaft, slipper gear shaft. So I do have another um, setup in here. I think I I might have another one in my uh, tool box, but I think I'll just take this one apart and take the uh, shaft out of this one because uh, even this gear here is, um, like I said, the shaft is broken off in there and the... the uh, the screw there that holds the shaft on is uh, stuck in there and seems to be almost stripped. So this piece, if ever used again, is going to need a bit of work before I can use that. So it's going to go to the side and the bag of parts over here. Put that in the parts bag future use. Okay, I guess I'll be stripping this apart and uh, taking this spur back apart and putting it in there. Maybe at the same time, maybe I will switch to... Uh, the slipper, um, the slipper setup, because it actually has the fiber discs in there. It's not the metal on metal, so maybe that was part of the problem why it snapped that shaft. I don't know, but I'm gonna change it now and uh, see if that cures it next time I'm running the truck. All right, I've got the 
15 tooth pinion installed and the 54 tooth spur installed. Everything's spinning nice and smooth. Got my my uh, gap, a little tolerance set in the gears there. I believe that's enough. I always like to run them just a slight, not tight, but tighter than I would if they were used gears when they're brand new. I find that you run them just a slight bit tighter than regular tolerance and it wears them in a bit nicely. And then over the next battery pack, I will come in and check it again and make sure I'm happy with that. Uh, everything looks good. The spur, uh, I notice as I spin it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this, but as I spin the spur, it does have just the slightest little wobble to it. I don't think that's going to really affect anything at all. Like I said, I'll let you guys know how it's performing on uh, upcoming videos and stuff. And if I do still have a problem with it overheating the speed control going into uh, thermal shutdown, uh, I can change the pinion. I have another pinion here. It's a uh, 11 tooth and I'm running a 15. So if I do have a problem with the overheating, I can put this one in just to check it out and see if that's the issue or if it's the actual speed control that I have to replace. So all I have to do now is put on the little protective cover for the gears. That goes right in there. And uh, this truck is pretty much back together to uh, bash the compound again for the next video. Hopefully I'll get to do uh, some bashing soon. The weather's starting to get a little bit better around here, being as it's spring. And I will bring you another uh, bashing video really soon. Hopefully you got something out of that video here. I know it was probably running on a bit long. But sometimes that's what happens when they uh, have little minor complications in the video and you got to deal with it. Anyway, if you got something out of that, throw me a thumbs up, give me a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That helps out the channel. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Screaming Demons RC, SDRC, we're out. <laughs>